Yo, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to Pinoy News. Man, listen, all right, um, I got a video here for Jacob. My boy came into Discord earlier upset, so I figured, you know what, man, legit, I'm, I'll make you a video, my brother, you know what I'm saying, on one of the Jones you posted in here, and maybe, just maybe, you know what I'm saying, to make you feel a little better about your situation or whatever it is, it's, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, it, it is what it is. So, like, check this shit out. So... All right, man, listen, like, yo, we're going we're gonna to do this, you know what I'm saying, we're going to do this, right? Oh, hold on, that's not what I want, I want this, there we go, all right. So here's, here's, here's what it's hitting for, okay? Scottsdale School officially, uh, official allegedly kept dossier on, dossiers on, pay, on parents, right? This dude here, right, this dude, fucking, like, yo, this is, uh, my man's name is motherfucking Greenberg, I think, something like that. So, you know, y'all say what y'all want about that. So... Scottsdale police announced Saturday that they were investigating allegations against a school board president who the school district superintendent said has allegedly distributed a dossier on some parents, including photos and personal finances. The Scottsdale Police Department said in a statement it was aware of the allegation against the uh, Scottsdale Unified School District President John Jan Michael Greenberg. Right. We are conducting an investigation in the matter. will report our findings once it is complete. A brief statement. <clears throat> Also encourage anyone with information about the case to contact police. Greenberg, a business executive and attorney, did not immediately respond. I, I, I know he was a fucking goddamn it. Right, you legit. I know. I know what this. Yo, let's let's keep it easy in the comment section, fellas. Right, Greenberg, a business executive and attorney, did not immediately respond Saturday to an email request by the Associated Press for comment. Scottsdale Unified is one of the largest suburb or largest suburban school districts in Metro Phoenix. It serves most of Scottsdale as well as parts of Phoenix, Paradise Valley, and Tempe. Like many school boards nationwide, Scottsdale has clashed with some parents over coronavirus-related policies. District officials announced Friday that the district will hire an outside forensic investigator to see if any school resources were utilized in the creation of Google Drive photos uh, folders on certain parents. <clears throat> In a statement, the superintendent, Scott Menzel, said the private dossier was allegedly made by the father of Greenberg and shared by the latter. I bet you it was shared with him. Like, yo, legit, man. Listen, yo, the fish always rots from the head down, son. Menzel stressed that the district was not involved in the dossier. Oh, you know you're full of shit. And he said no information from student records were in the folders. Menzel said board operators would only have access to school students student information that they were overseeing discipline cases. One parent, Amanda Ray, told azfamily.com, a fellow parent noticed a link to the Google Drive and a computer screenshot attached to an email from Greenberg. She said they found folders. Oh, by the way, this happened right here, right? This here happened, right? When the dude literally motherfucking accused her of being uh, anti-Semitic, making anti-Semitic remarks after, like, the George Floyd case happened or whatever it was. <sighs> Always make it about y'all. I don't. Why? Social security numbers. All right. They says she found the folders on nearly 50 parents. Each had background information like divorce decrees, social security numbers, and property records. Hundreds of parents and other community members have signed a petition calling for Greenberg to resign his elected seat in the board. KSAZ TV reported. Yo, look, man. Seriously. All right. Until like you deal with the issue as a whole. You know what I'm saying? This is going to keep being a fucking problem. Right? Like. I know y'all are vocal about the CRT shit and y'all are vocal about things, but the problem is, is like legit, you have to understand these academics think you're a bunch of fucking hicks and they're telling you to go fuck yourselves and they're going to continue to do what they want to do anyway, because the truth is they don't care about you. It's what it is. They don't give a fuck. Right. And they're going to just do this no matter what happens. So, like, you might as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, buckle in, you know what I'm saying? And, like, legit, if you don't like this shit, take your kids the fuck out of these schools. Let's have a conversation about why we need these schools in the first place altogether. Like, when it really comes down to it. Like, why do we need this shit? That's, 100%, that's just being 100% honest with you. Like, at what point, you know what I mean, did we decide that, like, yo, we need, you know what I'm saying? Like, all this fucking schooling and nonsense and garbage like, why do we send our kids away for, you know what I mean, like, fucking 13 fucking years? And they want to add pre-K, which will make it 14 fucking years. I know this is free daycare for y'all. I get that mentality. But maybe, just maybe, women who have children shouldn't be fucking working. And you should stay home and take care of your fucking kids. And educate them yourself. So you can avoid this bullshit. And the kids will turn out a whole lot better. And your family will turn out a whole lot better. It'll give you a purpose as a, as a fucking person. 
Because believe me, all right, the idea that like work equals freedom, it's the same thing they wrote over the gates at Auschwitz. I'm Tom Pease with Pinoy News. Y'all know what it is. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.